nested if else statement that means more than two conditions to be tested then we use this uh, nested if else statement nesting means writing one if statement in another if statement or writing uh, one is if statement in another else statement anywhere you can write in if you can write if else in else also you can write an if else statement this is the nested if else statement best example for this nested if else statement is finding greatest of a uh, three numbers finding greatest of a uh, three numbers okay so just write uh, the program along with me whether you can write uh, uh, this program or not nested if else statement here program demonstrating nested if else statement okay so what is the logic we are writing in this program find greatest of uh, three numbers greatest of uh, three numbers this is the program find greatest of three numbers Okay, so how we can proceed? Greatest of three numbers. That means inside the main, we need to declare a three variables. We need to declare a three variables. So this time, I change variable names as a comma b comma c. Okay, so now I am declaring a three variables. Now ask the user to enter a three numbers this time. Okay, three numbers. Yeah, please uh, write in the pro uh, notebook. write in a notebook so that you feel like writing on your own and you will understand that you are feeling the difficulty and how you uh, overcome such difficulties and also you can write when you write void main when you write void main then we skip this we ignore we don't write this a uh, return zero okay so void indicates you are not going to return any value to operating system when you write int main okay i told in the beginning class when you write int main that means this main is a function which is going to return an integer number to the operating system to whom it is returning it is to the operating system okay so how you are returning that is by using this return zero that means if your program comes to this return zero part operating system understands that your program has executed all the statements successfully that means program execution is successful that's how it does that's why we write a int main and at the end the last statement we write as a return zero okay so in companies when you write programming you write one function your friend write another function your uh, another friend okay different people writes different different functions and all these has to be combined together okay so that's why re returning value from your function is always advisable okay right now so greatest of three numbers so declare three variables then ask the user to enter three numbers okay so then using scanf now you read the three numbers percentage d percentage d percentage d okay so three format specifies we require and store the first number in address of a and store the second number in address of b and store the third number in address of a c okay a b c now we need to find out among these three which one is greater among these three which one is greater we need to identify okay right so i am just uh, removing these uh, codes here right now how you can identify which one is greater two ways i'll write this program okay so first one is you can compare a with both b and c if it is 
a is greater than both b and c then you can decide that a is greatest number a is a greatest number okay so in the first instance you can compare this with both b and c you can compare b and c you can compare whether a is greater than both a and b okay how can i write a such test condition in c programming okay and please remember please remember here if you have declared variable names in lower case okay always we follow declaring variable names in lower case and you should follow the same convention here i told c is a case sensitive language upper case and lower case are treated as a different okay so always you have to use this lower case to declare the variables and use the lower case and you declared the variable name a in lower case and if you use a condition like this a greater than b then this capital a is treated as a different variable which is not declared without declaring the variable you cannot use that variable in the program in c it gives immediately error okay so these things you should observe very carefully being a beginner okay right now so what i am doing is now i am comparing uh, the first number with the uh, both the other two numbers so whether a is greater than b and uh, c a is greater than whether a greater than b and uh, c okay in mathematics we write like this in mathematics we write like this how we write in mathematics whether a is greater than b and c okay so we write something like and c but here in programming you are using mathematical notation okay so programming notation just to the okay so first we that a greater than b and a also greater than c now i am comparing with both other numbers the first way is whether a greater than b and you have to use logical and operator see here you have to use logical and operator here. okay so a greater than b and a also greater than c okay if both are true a greater than b and a greater than c indicates that a is the greatest number okay so then we can write here say print f print f percentage d is greater percentage d is greater comma a we can write here okay so now we are testing a with both other numbers okay so this is how we will write two conditions at a time here a greater than b and a also greater than c if both are true then this becomes true okay so when this becomes entire statement becomes true it indicates that a is the greater so directly you can print a percentage d is a greater here percentage d is greater okay this is one way of a writing a the test condition okay other way i'll complete this program and afterwards i'll tell you the second way here okay otherwise if any one of this is false a greater than b and a greater than c if any one of this is false then this entire statement becomes false okay a greater than b this is true and a greater than c false true and false is false in and truth table we said that true and false is false that means this entire statement becomes a false okay so that means there is a number greater than a it indicates single ampersand is bitwise and operator single ampersand you should not use and even you should not use comma also here a greater than b comma c okay it is wrong this is the c syntax c notation of writing a two condition set at a time uh, that's why and operate we discussed before this if statement how we should write two conditions at a time whenever two conditions we need to test you have to use 
logical and logical or operators. So that is uh, a greater than b comma c is not the original syntax of C language. 